Today. Today I called my son. Today I thought about getting a car while I worked. But things were not always like they are today. And 1963, I think it was, right about then, that's when things started changing. My dad touched me in the wrong way, in the wrong places. I, I, I was just, I was devastated, you know? I didn't know what to think. I remember one night she wanted some, uh, some, some ribs. She called me and she said, Delma, she said, go, go with your daddy and, and so you can run in and get him. And I, and I went in the kitchen where she was and I told her, I said, Mama, I said, I don't want to go. I said, don't make me go. I don't want to go. Um, when I went to uh, the restaurant with him, that I'll never forget that night because that was the only night that my dad threatened my life. And I was just a little girl. I mean, he told me if I didn't do certain things that he wanted me to do, that he, he would cut my throat, you know? And, and that, how devastating can that be to an 11-year-old? It all starts with a lie. Then all you have are lies. You pay for what you eat, for what you drink, and where you sleep with lies. I got married in 81, I came here in 80. And, and the thing about it was, is that I was, I was deep into drugs then, you know? Uh, my husband introduced me to them. And when I look back, you know, especially these past few years, I was, I mean, walking the streets at three and four o'clock in the morning, could you imagine? And I don't remember the last time that I sent a card or telephoned to one of my nieces or nephews or sisters. And that, that, that's kind of, um, that's a hard place to be, to know that there's another life that you can't, you feel like you can't touch. The truth is your biggest enemy until it's your only friend. Today I made a new friend. He said, God told me of a good place for you. And I said, God told you? And Willie's not saved. He said, yep, he did. And I said, where? He said, Mel Trotter Ministries. Today, being drug free and owned by Jesus, um, today is my niece's birthday. Her name is Amy Tamisa. I'm gonna call her and say happy birthday. And, um, and I'm gonna go and see my son. Today I smiled when I thought about tomorrow. Help support Mel Trotter Ministries. And you can see the power of change today. I've been at Mel Trotter Ministries for seven months. God has really changed my life.